In this video, we're going to discover how to factorise quadratics that don't have 1 as the coefficient in front of the x squared term. These are called non-monic quadratics. You can do it by trial and error and just spotting the factors. So put down the 3x at the front of the first bracket, work out what multiplies to give the negative 8, then trial and error to work out what adds to give negative 2. But being very careful to remember that the 3x will affect the negative 2. So there's a lot of trial and error involved. Luckily for you, there's a fail-safe method that doesn't have trial and error. Let's discover how that works. Start by multiplying the number in front of the x squared by the coefficient on its own. So 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. List out the factors of 24. Which of these pairs add to give negative 2? Plus 4 minus 6. We now need to rewrite the question with the plus 4 and minus 6. So plus 4x minus 6x. Split the quadratic into 2. So factorise 3x squared plus 4x and then factorise minus 6x minus 8. These brackets must be identical. If they aren't, go back and check you haven't made any mistakes so far. Nearly there. Just put these two terms into one bracket and the 3x minus 4 as the other bracket. Simple, much easier than trial and error and it will work for any non-monic quadratic. As always, we should check our answer, so quickly expand the brackets to make sure we're correct. Before we look at some more examples, let's rewind to when we rewrote the quadratic as plus 4x minus 6x. If we'd written it as minus 6x plus 4x, so the other way around, it would also have worked. We still end up with the correct final answer. Your turn now. I will leave the steps on screen to help you through. Pause the video, work it out and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? Now one more for you to do. This time there's going to be no steps to help. Pause the video, factorise the quadratic and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? So there we have factorising non-monic quadratics. Just make sure you end up with two identical brackets and you're on to a winner. Try to practice this method regularly to make sure it sticks in your memory. We'll look at how to solve quadratics in another video.